Before I get started with part two, I was saying lipids on accident. Accuse my accent of that. It's lipase. L-I-P-A-S-E. Just wanted to make sure I was clear on that. So now let's dive back into part two. Now going back to talking about this youth hormone. Now it also aids in bringing blood to the skin, which slows down aging. So now all of the other factors that we talked about have basically started pulling on our cells, correct? Because at this point, the cell is still screaming for fuel. So much so that it starts to grow more insulin receptors. So guess what? Goodbye insulin resistance. So if somebody has insulin resistance and they go according to the five things that I said to do, stop the refined sugars, stop the wheat, stop the dairy, stop the caffeine, stop the margarine, implement Celtic water and at least eight glasses a day and high intensity interval training exercise, that insulin resistance can be turned around within a week. And don't quote me on it. Go look at all the other practitioners that are saying the same thing with their clients. I want y'all to specifically go look at Barbara O'Neill and her clients and come back to me. But let's continue. Now, remember, all of this has to do with metabolic disorders and pancreatic damage. Now, before I forget, there's also a remedy that she talks about that we need to stop doing. When the blood sugar gets low, y'all start eating candy. Now, the sugar goes back up, but y'all tend to get headaches and or other symptoms that come with that. Instead, get a fruit get an apple now it's back up and you don't have a headache or the other symptoms or whenever that happens get out of bed or get from where you at and exercise what's 30 push-ups what's as many push-ups as you can do because remember we just talked about how exercise can help increase insulin reception as well as pulling energy into the cell via intensity training stay with me y'all and where does that energy come from the glycogen stores which is the diabetic's best kept secret, by the way. Oh, and why are the blood sugar levels low? Because people are on too much insulin. When you're on the proper program, you're not going to need that much. Barbara O'Neill dropped her client's insulin by 90% within three weeks of him being within her program. Now, before I go and dive into some other stuff, I'm going to end it right here because we could it could turn into a 16-part video. But y'all, please, just take the time to implement the things that I talked about in this video in the last video. Continue to talk with your specialists. Continue to monitor y'all sugar levels like y'all need to and continue to do more research. Barbara O'Neill is one of the best people you can go research for these type of things and has very simple explanations. I made a vow that I will never gatekeep any type of information from y'all. So whatever I've learned that can help or that I've used that help my clients, I'm going to pass it to y'all. But I really hope this bless you. I really hope this starts you on an amazing journey. I love y'all. God bless. Have a good one.